YouTube. I want to show you something cool. Now, I just finished that one Bible study. Now, that word begotten in 1 Peter 1, 3. That is not the same begotten as John 3, 16. And I'm going to show you. Okay. John 3, 16, the most famous, powerful, I mean, not, you know, most uh, uh, popular scripture. Yet most of these people that teach us, they, they don't have a clue what this means. But for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Okay. That word begotten. For God so gave that he gave his only begotten son. Now let's go. To, I'm going to take you to the Greek for the word begotten in this scripture. And the Greek word is monogenes. Okay. That's, and what the meaning is says it's single of its kind only. Okay. It's single of its kind only. Used of only sons or daughters, uh, used of Christ, denotes the only begotten Son of God. Meaning, single. It's it's a different word than um, the um, the other words used, like um, like here I'll show you in First Peter one three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us. And that word means Anna Genoa. And it means to produce again, to be born again, born anew. To have one's mind changed so that he lives a new life, comforted. Okay. So we know that that's called Anna Genoa. And um, the one in John 3.16 is called Mono Genoa. So we got Anno Genoa and Mono Genoa. And what that means is because, you know, we when you're born again of the water and spirit, you are a son or daughter of God. Okay. So... So it doesn't mean in John 3, 16 that Jesus Christ is the only Son of God. See, that's stupid. Otherwise, we wouldn't be sons of God. It doesn't mean that. It means that that um, this is the only body of God that will ever be. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, his only incarnation, the bodily form of the Spirit. This is the only time this is going to happen. There's only one um, body that was resurrected that God's going to abide in. Of course, he abides in all of us, but but we know between it's monogenoa and anogenoa, okay? There's a difference, okay? And I wanted you to see this because people think that, you know, they're not understanding this. I'm probably not teaching this correctly, but he, this is outlining the, outlining the sacrifice of God himself coming down in the flesh, John 1, 14. And the word became flesh, okay? I'm showing you all this so, so you realize there's not three or two or there's one God. And he is spirit. And that one God's spirit became flesh. The only begotten because he, he loved the world, okay? If, if you... See, if you if you have a son, you're not going to, because you love somebody, you're not going to send him over there to die because you love him. That sounds stupid, doesn't it? <laughs> he came himself. But they they um, they make the differentiation with that word. Monogenes. Okay, monogenes. And it means the only time, the single of its kind, only. That's the one time. That God's coming down here and sacrificing himself in that body that he created. According to Matthew 1, the Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary, right? 118 and 123 of Matthew, which shows you that the Holy Ghost is the Father. But we just learned in the previous video that Jesus is the Father. See, there's only one God. And you got to rightly divide the word of truth. You put it together. He's got to give you the download from heaven that you might understand the scriptures. Okay? God bless. It takes time. Study and ask God to give you understanding of what I'm talking about. Because I know this is going way over a lot of you heads. Because you all been ta taught wrong. And I understand you've been taught wrong. That's why I make all these videos. That you might understand the scriptures. Okay? God bless.